Right, strange one for you. Do any of you happen to own this headset, which is the Arctis 7 by Steel Series, and notice in some games that the dialogue's missing? Well, I'm going to show you how I fix mine. Right, first things first, let me tell you how I actually discovered this problem. I um, started playing a few more games recently, not really touched the PC for gaming for a while, and I started getting into playing the Assassin's, uh, Assassin's Creed games, um, in particular Assassin's Creed Origins. And what I noticed right away was in a lot of the cutscenes, the dialogue was just totally missing. Um, it's not such a big deal because you've got subtitles and stuff like that, but I went into the game settings anyway, checked the audio, just in case there was something daft, like it was set to 5.1 surround sound speakers or something like that, um, and that was affecting the, the dialogue. Um, and no matter what I changed, it just, just didn't work. But I left it, I just persisted with the game, I was too too deep into the game to do anything about it. I was at one point toying with just reinstalling it again because I thought it was a bug. Um, went on to Google and searched if anybody was having a similar issue with this particular Assassin's Creed game and there was nothing, no, nobody seemed to report the same kind of thing. Um, so I, I hope I'm not alone here um, and I hope there's other people out there that actually do have a similar issue that I've had. Um, you can let me know in the comments below. Um, but then what ended up happening was I installed the the Ghost of Tsushima onto the PC as well to give that a try and the exact same thing was happening. Cutscenes, dialogue was totally missing, and to me, it's, that's too much of a the storyline of that game. You want to get immersed in the game, so you want to hear the dialogue and stuff like that. And it started getting annoying at that point. I was like, right, okay, it's not the PC. There's there's something else. Or sorry, I should say it's not the Assassin's Creed game. It's something with the PC. So I'm going to show you exactly how I got around it, and it was just by pure luck I found this. Let's just jump over to the the PC screen. So when you're on your desktop, um, down the bottom corner, down the right hand side here, you'll have a little speaker. If you right click on that and then go to open sound settings, you'll then see a list of all your outputs, all your inputs for all your audio and so on. Uh, there's some more options down the bottom here. And you can see all the different outputs I've got hooked up to my PC. So I normally have mine set to headphones, I use the Arctis 7 game um, headset and it has the little uh, the little wireless receiver which has a cable plugged into it for an output that, that passes through to my speakers. Um, so basically if I don't use the headset, turn the headset off, the sound then goes through to my speakers which is a nice little touch. But anyway, blabbling on here, um, headphones, Arctis 7 game and the little arrow at the side here goes into further options for you. Wasn't sure if any of these was causing a problem, but what I did notice was down here on this audio enhancements, this was actually set to device default effects. And as you can see here, the device default effects is DTS headphone X version two. Now I just simply turned this back to off and right away the dialogue came in in both games and I was over the moon that I found this little thing. Now, what I found was actually kind of weird about this was I played these games before and the sound wasn't an issue so I was like what the hell's happened here and then I just remembered that I uh, I think it was about two months ago I actually upgraded to Windows 11 I held off for a long 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 time because of all sorts of bugs I'd heard about Windows 11 and eventually decided to go ahead and do it and I can only assume that that option I just showed you on the screen a minute ago there either wasn't in Windows 11 or it was off by default and uh, upgraded to Windows 11 and it's changed something for me but there you go a simple stupid little <laughs> box you change from uh, being on to off and I got all my dialogue back and um, so simple as that that's all I wanted to show you guys I hope it's helped Please let me know that I'm not alone here and somebody else has suffered from the same issue. Um, and as always, if you can do it, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll be back sometime soon. See you later.